Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Well, it's been up the mountain, down the mountain today, but at least it was a little bit of a smaller mountain. Uh, so, I have a brief comment about what's happening now with the ascension process. Um, and what used to happen in the past with regard to the astral plane, the fourth dimension. Uh, you know, in the past, there were light workers who would knew how to leave their bodies and then travel on the astral plane and, and see things and do things in that way. Astral travel, it was called. I don't have first-hand experience with that, at least not in this lifetime. Um, so, and still right now, there are 3D light workers who are traveling in the, in the astral plane from time to time, I think. Now, in addition to that old scenario, there's a new scenario taking place, and that is as Earth's vibration and energy change, then all of the people on Earth and all of the plants and animals the waters and the mountains, everything, are changing with Earth. We, her children, are changing with her. So, so what's happening for, for Earth right now is that the uh, energy signature of everything is rising from the third dimension through the fourth dimension, which includes in the old theology, hell, purgatory, and heaven and many astral beings from off-world and just a lot of uh, possibilities that have been written about by Swami Panchadasi and many others in the, in the past, okay? But so the difference now is that while retaining human form in the third dimension, we, the children of, of Earth, are also in a, a multi-dimensionally incorporating the experience of the fourth dimension along with our third dimensional experience. Uh, we can move from the third dimension to the fourth dimension and back again consciously. We can be switching back and forth all the time between both of them while we're, while we're awake. We can be experiencing both aspects of both at the same time right now. Okay, um, So that accounts for the fact that for those, those of us that are 3D, 4D, multi-diming right now, uh, reality has become uh, much m much softer in, in detail. It has become, time has become extremely subjective and there are quickly rewritten changes of, uh, of history right now, of all the histories are being, of all of the alternate worlds that we've accumulated in the past are being um, m merged and rewritten and so the history that we have is as mental filters are disappearing, the old dense mental filters are disappearing from Earth. So the entire history of Earth is changing from moment to moment right now. It's, it's, it's kind of dazzling. It's like watching a kaleidoscope, you know? It's like that. And so because the history changes so fast and, and the present changes so fast, the collective consciousness of, of humankind and the newosphere are constantly being updated and, and absorbing the new energies and letting the old energies go right now. So that's kind of cool. That's, that's the way that it is right now is that uh, we can experience both. We don't have to like leave our bodies to move into the astral plane anymore. So... Oh yeah, there's one other thing. So what I've been noticing wherever I go is the great awakening of souls everywhere. Everywhere I walk, people are waking up. And uh, 
And the first thing that people think when they're waking up is that someone is the cause of their waking, of their cha the changes in their perceptions. They're starting to see the fourth dimension, and they're wishing that things wouldn't change. They're hoping that it will all go away. And one of the very uh, common reactions is for them to associate me, for instance, or the first person I expect that that they see and when they begin to experience uh, the fourth dimension, they as as they mistakenly associate that person as the cause of the of the experiences, the perceptions that they're having, you know, which of course, uh, so so one thing that people do is they think they would like for that person to go away from them geographically or they want to go away from that person geographically, which is, you know, understandable. Uh, things are changing so much that there's a certain amount of fear uh, about change that people feel mentally, and also their body cells don't want to change either. So every single little body cell might be saying, oh, no, I don't want to change like that. So under those uh, scenarios, people with their mental mind, their left brain, they look around for a reason for their, their discomfort. And, uh, and, and so they, they, it makes sense that they would associate that to the, to the first person that, that they experienced the changed reality with. But in fact, it's not like that. All over Earth, people are rising up in great waves of, of enlightenment and, and ascension and Christ consciousness. That's what's happening right now. So when we go to a different location uh, to avoid what's happening, wh at least what happened to me when I tried that last year, is that everything that I tried to get away from ratcheted it up in intensity uh, about double. <laughs> so I figured this is the divine plan. The divine plan is if you try to escape from reality, uh, the changing reality at this time, then what will happen is we'll make it doubly obvious that it's impossible to do. <laughs> and and I don't think it's a, like a, a bad thing that the divine is doing. The divine is just trying to help us to... To, to adjust and understand and like that to the new reality. As our awareness expands into the astral plane, the fourth dimension, what we're encountering in an, on an in, individual basis is our emotional body. Um, because our emotional body exists in the fourth dimension. And so, for many of us, as I've um, made a video in the past about most of us old light workers, the, um, the emotional body is very much battered about by all the incarnations on Earth. It's not unusual to find uh, a trauma like a fourth or a fifth of the in ex uh, extent that's um, 25% or 20% of the entire emotional body traumatized, bruised up and damaged and greatly in need of, uh, re of regeneration. So um, one of the first things we find out when we um, begin to multi-dime into the fourth dimension is the extent of our emotional body injury. Um, and so it can be very um, it can be very upsetting finding this out because as light workers uh, it has been our job over the the centuries and thousands of years to carry the, the banner high for the light you know and and that's this very act of carrying is what has caused us to run so often into um, the maelstrom of the dark and, and encounter all this wounding. So um, on the outside, a lot of us are doing our best to, to lift people up and heal people and help people to 
to get through all this, but at the same time, we're the ones that really need the, um, the uh, regeneration chamber more than anyone else. We need the work to be done on us by our own celestialists and ascension teams. So that's just, that's just something to think about right now is that for, for most of us old light workers, it's time to step aside and, and to let everyone turn to their own ascension team for, for, he, for the help that's needed in, in re regenerating the emotional body. You know, I was sitting in on a wonderful um, talk by Sandra Walter the other day, and um, <laughs> I just missed my exit. Um, I was sitting on, in on a talk by her, and she mentioned that our Ascension teams, there might be 5,000 beings of light and other wonderful entities, I, um, uh, ascended masters, angelic presences, uh, metatronic forces, and of course Source itself, the all-powerful Source and all-loving Source itself on our Ascension team. So, there's the help that we really need. That's the help that we really need waiting for us. And all we have to do is, is to call upon it. That's all we have to do. So, I invite you to, to take a look at the Activations of Light on, on, the, on the website and, and or the Language of Light uh, that's offered by many other light workers or the Language of Healing Sound that's offered by other light workers. And just um, and set aside the burden of healing humanity and and bearing the standard of light for humanity and, and allow yourself in the coming months a chance to, to be healed by your ascension team. And that's my intention to do that too. I, I, I can't say how happy I am to, to know that, that the reinforcements have arrived and that mankind need no longer wait for the help that's needed to, to recover from this this dark age. <laughs> Take care. Do you hear the spring peepers down there? I think they're down in this drainage canal.